This is an extension box that I bought from an online store and the length of the wire is 2 meters. We can fold this wire and lock it using this and make it very compact while traveling. We can insert all type of plugs in it. We can insert Indian type round plug or UK or US type square type pl plug into this socket. There is an LED indicator here and here is a switch connected it is a push to on off switch i don't know what type of switch this is one more switch is connected here nothing is written in it seems to be a resettable fuse that also i have no idea but we will explore it soon what i believe is instead of a thermal fuse they have used this one let us take these things apart and see what is inside in detail so this is going to be a dismantling video let us start doing that we can make use of star type screwdriver or flat type screwdriver. I will show you a screw. Then only you will get clear picture on what type of screw this is. I will zoom a bit more. Now you got an idea on why I told this will support both flat and star type screwdriver. Let the screw stay in for the time being. We will unscrew the others. The main thing I need to know inside this extension box is that resettable switch. What it is and the next thing is the power switch what type of switch they are using one more thing i need to know whether they are using any type of surge protector inside this extension box at the most they will use a metal oxide varistor that also i am not quite sure i will make a new extension box without delay when i am making it we will resolve whatever problems we had in this extension box i will explain you all issues in this extension box later an advantage is that when you buy an extension box, you have all these problems in your mind. So you buy a new extension box with that in mind. You will never get a ready-made extension box that solves all these problems, but you can reduce the number of issues in it. We have unscrewed all the screws. Let's open it. This is its internal connection wiring and I don't need to explain it. You already know that all are parallel connections to the sockets. The switch they have used is a push to on off switch which is a double pole that, that, that means the face and neutral has control on it when you are switching off the face uh, as well as the neutral will be disconnected from the face line and uh, neutral line of the socket. The switch they are using is a solid one. Uh, you can see this type of switch in, in old television and musical system. They are very long lasting one. This type of switch will function for uh, around uh, for 10 12 years without any fault. Something is written on it. Uh, oh, it is in this direction. You can see it is written as 8 ampere and slash 128 ampere and 250 volt. I don't know about this 128 ampere. 8 ampere most probably for 250 volt and to a 128 ampere mostly it will be for dc supply i'm not quite sure nothing is written in uh, on it for supply indication i thought they were using leds but i can see the they are using a neon lamp the neon lamp do not have very high brightness you can see some black in that um, most probably but still it is working i will fix that switch back in place and the de internal design of this uh, extension box is perfect because switch and all those do not have any screws and all that we are just placing in between a, a a compartment that will that is actually fit in there also there is no false movement the switch is perfectly fit inside that compartment now we will look on the main thing that is uh, the this switch i think it is uh, written as 10 ampere mostly i i can see that it is a resettable fuse uh, now we will just analyze how they have wired this this component into into this extension box you can see from the power cord the face and neutral is coming to the or connected to the switch that is single one pole they have connected from the other pole of the switch that is through from the face line it is connected to the this component that is fuse like component and the other end of the uh, switch is connected to the face line of the socket that means that is uh, this uh, this switch is connected in series with the wiring connection what it seems that it is it's a kind of circuit breaker that is why it is connected in series with the face line so uh, if any, any any problem is coming this con this switch will disconnect the uh, output from the input that means uh, it, it 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 breaks the uh, supply line and we have to push the switch so that it, the supply will resumes this kind of switch you have seen in mixer grinder in mixer grinder we are using that switch as an overload protection 
at the end of this video i am explaining you about this this component what this is and what is its use and where you can buy it there is no search protection in this uh, extension box but the extension box we will be making will be provided with a uh, uh, thermal fuse this resettable fuse plus a surge protection so that whatever equipments or uh, ac ac things which are connected to through this extension box will be highly protected after closing th this i will explain you about the problems of this extension box please listen carefully because these are all very valuable things this is my mobile charger of 67 watts you can see that after i insert this mobile charger in the socket there is no space for inserting another plug to the very next socket because the sockets are tightly attached to each other with minimal space i will show you by inserting this three pin plug to one of the socket and simultaneously i will connect the mobile charger you can see the mobile charger is not inserting perfectly it is actually blocked by the plug point the only thing I can do is to insert this mobile charger into this socket. When I am doing that, then I cannot use the other two sockets. Now you know about one problem of this extension box. So when you are buying an extent new extension box, keep this in your mind. And also another problem is this four socket will be controlled by one single switch. So when you are switching on the switch, all the socket is actually powered with the supply line. For example, suppose you have inserted four mobile chargers into this socket and only using one mobile charger for charging your mobile, then the other three mobile chargers will be unnecessarily consuming the electricity. If you are having a control switch for each socket, then you can control or switch it off the other three mobiles, which is very convenient for us. So while making the extension box or if you are buying the extension box from, from the market, keep these things in your mind. When we are making the extension box, we will provide control switch to each socket and also we will provide LED indicator to all sockets. Safety is our highest priority. So we will provide all safety measurements inside that extension box. For those who want to buy this extension box, I will provide the link in the description box. As I have told, I have researched about that resettable switch. It is called thermal circuit breaker switch with the reset button. Whatever I have explained is correct. It is a resettable fuse. Our normal glass fuse is also called as thermal fuse. When the current flowing through that fuse increases, then it will melt or burn. Uh, similar thing is happening here when uh, when uh, current is flowing more current is flowing through this uh, circuit breaker then it will disconnect but in glass fuse we have to replace the glass fuse but here we can reset it using by pressing a switch please consider this as an informative video and if you like this video please click like button and also share this to your friends please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this that will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care. This circuit breaker switch is not that much cheap as of glass fuse.